Hi, this is Rachel. In science, you will often be using symbols, particularly in writing equations. This video will show you how to access some of the most common arrow symbols you will be using in Microsoft PowerPoint. So first of all, open up PowerPoint like I have here. As you may be able to see, I have a Mac, so I have PowerPoint for Mac, but the principle will be the same for Windows. Everything should be in roughly similar menus. So let's take a basic balanced equation. So 4NH3 plus 5O2 gives us 4NO plus 6H2O, Oops. as an example. So firstly, you can see that I don't have an arrow between the two halves of my equation. So in order to add an arrow, there are a couple of ways of doing it. My favourite way is really simple. So I position my cursor where I want my arrow to be, I type two dashes, and then a greater than symbol, like this. And as you can see, it automatically changes into an arrow. So what I typed was this, two dashes, and a greater than symbol. Now technically this arrow is a bit bold to be used in chemical equations, so if I delete this arrow, I can find a nicer arrow to use elsewhere. So I do this by clicking on the flag at the top bar of my Mac. Now this is the keyboard input button, and if you don't have it, you can enable it by going to System Preferences, going to the Keyboard section, going to Input Sources, and making sure that Show Input Menu in Menu Bar at the bottom here is ticked. So if I untick it, you can see my flag disappears. If I tick it, my flag comes back. So once you've done that, click on the flag and click Show Emoji and Symbols. And that will bring up a detailed menu of symbols. So what I can do is I can find the arrows section. So on the left, click the arrows and you just choose your arrow. So click on my document and I can double click the arrow I want and it will appear in my document. So I double click this first one and as you can see I've got an arrow now on my slide. So this menu is also where you need to go to find reversible reaction arrows. So you can see that the arrow menu is divided up into rightwards arrows, leftwards arrows, upwards arrows, downwards arrows, leftward rightwards arrows, and this is where we will find the reversible reaction. So it is this one here. So again, I just double click it to add it to my PowerPoint. So you can see it has been added here. If I lose that other arrow, there we go, now I have a reversible reaction. And now all I have to do is subscript my molecular formula numbers. So I've showed you how to do that in a previous video. So I just highlight and use the subscript button or keyboard shortcuts. There we go. And that is how we add arrows to chemical equations in PowerPoint.